We didn't listen to the warnings. We decided to... Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> Sorry, let me just let me get a little closer. We didn't listen to the warnings. We decided to ignore the global decline of the bees. And now the guardians have arrived. You must pilot the 1981 Galencia fighter spacecraft to restore order before it's too late. The bees! All right, here we go. This is it. Hello, Sam. You've just entered while we're fending off bees. Making chili dogs? Yeah, we made chili dogs and we're saving the world from bees. Here we go. I like that one that's just doing a cute little dance thing. Oh, that's damn it. That was so close. <laughs> here we go. It's so bad at this. Oh, absolutely. I'm terrible at games. All right, last fighter. Yeah, stage number two. Look at you, you got to the second stage. Here we are. Oh no, the bees are getting fresh now. They're coming up with all sorts of patterns. Oh my god. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> it's taking you away! Whoa! <laughs> oh, you come with me, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. You got Gallagher, but with bees. Only the chosen one will succeed. Such a hero must find safe passage through the dangerous underground labyrinth of the famed Lost Temple of Apshai, exploring each level before the timer runs out. Along the way, they will fight terrifying monsters, avoid the most cunning of traps, and collect treasure fit for a king. Are you the one to fulfill this destiny? Are you, Dan? Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I weren't listening to that. What were we doing? <laughs> Oh. What's the point of this game? It's Let, Tetris, yeah? Let's just go. Let's just jump in. <laughs> this is the Tetris game, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is fantasy Tetris. It's Tetris with a sword. All right, I think we got this. We nailing this. Uh, down here. Get this treasure trap. Oh, it's so sensitive. You gotta be like the exact spot, I think. Oh, there we go. Wait, did that? That was a trap. That was a, that was so mean. <laughs> you put the trap on the treasure chest. That's like a mimic. That's not cool, you can't do that. Ah! Snake! <laughs> snake! Oh god, it's so scary! The fact it's just a little pixely snake, for some reason makes it really intimidating. I don't like it, go away! Got him, alright, we're safe. Rescue eight griblets on each of the 16 levels, taking them to the safe cave before the creatures do. The PSI net constrains Gribbly Grobbly in his mission, but it also protects from Sean the Black Borean. The PSI net can be switched on and off during the game. Round up the griblets hiding behind rocks, over tanks, over lakes, and the floating islands to win. Gribbly's day out! I wasn't listening to any of that. We gotta save the griblets! This looks like a really pissed off Kermit the Frog. <laughs> so I look at him. It's not easy being green, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking hate being a gribbly. Oh, okay. A little thing's jumping around. I don't think it hurts me. I think that's what you meant to collect. Oh, shit, you're right. That might be it. Oh, no. Uh, let me try and collect it. No, piss off, gribbler. I'm trying to collect you. I think I got him. I got him. No, I didn't. Give me the gribbler. There we go. I got a gribbler. I did it. We're saving the gribblings. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> oh god, what is this thing? A weird little drill monster. Oh, horrible crab! What the fuck? I don't know. Okay. You were killed by Ganon. Ganon got me. Oh my god, it does make a Triforce every time I respawn. That's awesome. All right. Oh Jesus. Okay, any in any wall <laughs> hurts the fuck out of me. All right, don't touch any walls. Should I just brute force it and hope I don't die? Maybe that's the only way. Let's go! Yeah. Nope, fuck. Nah, it doesn't work. Alright, I'm gonna take the Grimble Gramble. I'm gonna grubble right up to the Grabble. Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't- Whoa, I didn't mean for you to jump in there! Oh, this game's not very fun. <laughs> this game's kind of annoying, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I got that from the <laughs> description of it. <laughs> Vic-20, an incredibly powerful ship, the Grid Runner, has been developed to combat the evil droids invading mankind's huge orbiting solar power station called the Grids. Your mission is to stop the droids and save the Earth. All right, that one. Quick, easy, to the point. Fuck up the aliens. I like that. I like that this description didn't go on for a week and involve any grimly grumblies. So let's go.
Okay, oh, this is, all right. This is action packed, it seems. Um, what the fuck left. am I doing? Left, go uh, left. Um, oh god, this is the most fast paced video game I've ever ah! All right, I can dodge him. This is the most fast paced video game I've ever seen. What the fuck? I've got four men left. Jesus. Did you want me to keep up with that? Do I actually need to keep up with it? How do I dodge the lasers? They're instantaneous. There's no, t there's no call that it's gonna happen. Oh, God. Why? Why is this so dangerous? <laughs> All right, I can do it this time. I think this will be the one. I got some. I'm getting this. All right. Just take your time with this game. I don't think you can take your time. I don't think that's a. Take your time. I don't think that's an option. I have. Oh God. Oh, I can't hit them. I need to hit where they're going to be. It's like speed running. Just take your time. <laughs> oh no! I thought I was gonna have it there. I thought that was the one. Is this like playing super fast because it's playing off of like a relatively modern piece of equipment that's just emulating a C64? Or was the actual game this fast? Because how the fuck did people play this? Oh, so you have a go. You can take the last man. Take the final stock. Hold my vape. Go, 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 you got this. Okay, you're, you're, you're getting in aggressively. You're getting right up in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the last man. You got a bonus man. Off you go. You can do it. I believe in you. Use that final man to save the day. You're going to camp in one spot. Is that the strap? Is that your strap? Oh, it's working. No, it's not. <laughs> it was working. Find six missing pages from the magical book of Heartland. Destroy the six dark pages created by the dreaded warlock Maidan, and beware his followers. Their spells distract you from your goal. Your spells include a top hat, swords, fireballs, bubbles, and stars. Oddly specific, collect the book first to help you find each page. The bed takes you to the next land. Heartland! What sort of spell is sword? I cast sword on you, which is what, was, what wizards call it when they stab you. <laughs> I cast sword! <laughs> yeah, they were swing a sword at you, or they turn you into a sword. <laughs> well, we throw a sword at you. <laughs> I don't know how swords work, that's why they're wizards. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you take this one. Look at your little guy with his top hat, like, ooh, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello, I'm a wizard. Oh, look at my little top hat. Oh dear, I'm late for work. <laughs> I've got to run to the post office. <laughs> got to run past 69 forests, I do. <laughs> oh gosh, that character's adorable. <laughs> A little face. I love that from the side it looks like he's wearing glasses, and then from the front it's just the eyes. Where did the glasses go? Alright, uh, you got a door, you got a unicorn statue, and you got a marijuana statue. Uh, you're hitting all the buttons. Nothing seems to be given. <laughs> <laughs> trying to play, trying to control the joystick with your face. The joystick's really shit. It is, isn't it? It's authentic, which means it's shit. <laughs> it barely controls properly. Wait, are you, are you actually, is it actually completely lost all... Or... No, it worked. It works, it's just so awkward and unresponsive. Come on, it looks like you've got a timer. Go, go, go. I believe in you. Run, run, run. Oh, look at that man. He's like a homeless guy trying to ask <laughs> you for change. Like, please, just... Just anything you have for me, Mr. Wizard. And you, Mr. fucking bourgeoisie top hat wizard, are like, no, poor person. Oh, there's the wizard. Oh, hello, wizard. Are you here to help me with spells? Wait, something's happening at the top part of the screen. Something is happening, yeah. Oh, it's like a... Is that a bird? It's like a plane. <laughs> it's, it's a bird. <laughs> it's Superman! <laughs> Superman is here. Superman doesn't have sword power. Oh, it's like meant to be a skull. <laughs> it's like a skull slowly forms just because that wizard's walking past you. And you're like, oh, no wizards. A oh, wizard. <laughs> but the wizard's not doing anything. He's just walking. Can you like, just try and run forward then. Just try and like push forward. Because it looks like you can't interact with any of this stuff. Could you like get past that room with the guy chasing after you or... Oh, hello. Okay. There's a different area. Bats. You got some bats or stars? I think that, yeah, I think they're bats. There's a top hat. Magic. You got magic. Use your top hat. Damn. Use your magic top hat. Whoa. Heartland. You're doing it. 
We figured out how to... Oh my god, you reduced that man to skeleton. And then he came right back, so he's fine now, actually. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear, out of luck! I'm dead. Oops. You failed to assemble the final chapter, the land is doomed! Control a droid named Herobot to collect six parts of large particle destroyer from around an enemy base, shooting other ASD droids, pressing switches then reaching the exit room with a large door that leads to the main computer. Log into the computer and download vital date before returning to the docking bay to escape. Alright, let's be a cool fucking robot. Let's do it. I'm absolutely blowing shit out of all the enemies here. They don't really have much of a chance against me. I'm an unkillable tank of a robot. This kind of feels unfair. I feel like I'm, I've got unfair advantage against everything. Oh! Turn 17 ready. Map off or exit. I'm gonna say map. There is the map. Thank you for the map. Off. System halted. Exit. I did it. I stopped the system. Let's go and do whatever the fuck I was doing. Alright, here we go. Just blowing fuck out of all you. Wow, this game's easy. I like this. I like that this is just easy and I get to blow shit up. No qualms with this so far. Um, do you want to have a go at this? Nah, it looks too hard for me. <laughs> you just hold one button. Oh, no, I don't want to interact with the computer every time I go past it. There we go. I mean, the enemies all respawn, but it doesn't really matter because they die in one or two shots each and I shoot from the other side of the room. So, what? How am I dead? What killed me? Here about terminated. What killed me? What happened? Did I run out of power? Wait, I'm in danger now. Why am I in danger? What happened that's dangerous? Why am I dying? Am I always self-destructing, maybe? Oh, God. Or maybe their explosions leave like aftershocks and those hurt. Beamer. Okay, I've got transcodes, nevits, and go to. I don't know what any of that means. Nor do I know how to get out of this thing I'm interfacing with. Oh god, I'm just trapped in here now. <laughs> help. Uh... Oh, go to. <gasps> help. Help. Help, please. Go to home. Okay, now I can interact with the keyboard. Uh, go to home. I can't fucking type for shit right now. I'm so confused. Robots. Go to robots. Here. Go to... It feels like I'm playing Zork now. Go to out. Out of this machine. Beamer. Oh, what the fuck I'm doing? Um, Boomer. Zoomer. Millennial. <laughs> millennial. <laughs> Alright, well... Gen X. That's, that's this game. <laughs> I'm stuck in the machine. I don't know how to get out. I don't know how to uninterface with this thing. Hitting all the F keys and nothing, nothing's working. 